courageous prophet, bold in proclaiming the truth, steadfast and unwavering in bringing God's love and hope. A prophet among us is rare, like stone mine from the God has blessed us and favored us with a prophet in our midst. Through two peaceful revolts, our pastor has led us safely. My mission is to be able to bring people to Christ, to promote that friendship, and to be able to show to the people that I am the extension of Jesus Christ, and that is my mission in the world, to proclaim to the world that Jesus is the Savior. And therefore, I am very happy that this is the mission which I believe I should pursue during my lifetime. Cardinal Sin speaking, if any of you could be around at Camp Aguinaldo to show your solidarity and your support in this very crucial period, I would only wish that violence and bloodshed be avoided. Let us pray to our Blessed Lady to help us in order that we can solve this problem peacefully. He is a courageous prophet, bold in proclaiming the truth, steadfast and unwavering in bringing God's love and hope. What a we are afraid of has happened. Truth has become a victim of the moral people. If you believe in freedom, go to the shrine right now. We will pray together until all immorality is
May God bless you all. And always remember your Cardinal loves you all very dearly. Cross my heart. Let us now all together pray the Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Celebrate 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we thank the Lord for another Sunday that He has gathered us in the Eucharistic table. And in this celebration of the Holy Mass, we thank the Lord for the gift of fathers in our families. We specially pray for them today. And uh, we also include in our Mass intentions today two important and loving fathers of the Archdiocese of Manila, His Eminence Jaime Cardinal Sin, whose 15th death anniversary we commemorate today. And we also pray for our Archbishop Emeritus, Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, who celebrates his uh, 63rd birthday today. We thank the Lord for the gift of fathers and the gift of fathers in our church. And so to begin our Eucharistic celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side, denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch of any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion my persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who prove mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued 
the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme, you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous in your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bands, he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. Lord, in your great love, answer me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus, death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was one to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one, the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops, and do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge." Even all the hairs of your head are counted, so do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father." Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
we thank the Lord for having this wonderful opportunity to celebrate the Eucharist together. Even if we are not physically together, we thank the Lord for, for the wonder of technology that today, even if you are in your homes, even those who are working abroad, even those working at sea, Kanina po may nag-text sa akin na, Father, I am now, I am working at sea. No? Nasa barko ho sila, but I will watch your 6 p.m. Mass, he said. No? Even if we are physically not together, we thank the Lord because of this opportunity to celebrate this online Mass together spiritually. And today, we are very happy to celebrate this Mass as we celebrate today, commemorate Father's Day. And I want to greet a happy Father's Day, especially to those who are watching us in this 6 p.m. Mass. Uh, those who may be watching together as one family with your fathers in the families. And uh, how I miss to celebrate Mass during Father's Day because it is only during Father's Day that the Manila, in the Manila Cathedral, Men outnumber women. <laughs> so kapag Father's Day, ay mas maraming lalaki na nagsisimba kaysa sa babae. No? So once a year, at least, I see fathers no, celebrating Mass on Father's Day. And I know that many of you are watching your families together with your fathers at home. So we thank the Lord for the gift of fathers. We ask the Lord to continually bless you as fathers in the families. And uh, today, you fathers are being reminded of your wonderful vocation, your very important vocation in the family. Napakahalagang bukasyon, napakahalagang papel ang ibinigay ng Diyos sa inyo bilang pag magiging isang ama sa loob ng pamilya sa loob ng tahanan. And if you noticed in our gospel today, God is called as Father. Jesus teaches us that your Father knows you. Your Father cares for you. Ang tawag ni Jesus, ang tawag sa Biblia sa Diyos ay hindi lamang Diyos, kundi Ama. Napakahalaga na ang pagiging ama ng Diyos ay ibinabahagi sa mga ama ng tahanan. Don't you think it is wonderful that as fathers you share in the fatherhood of God? When God is called father, it is you, fathers in the family, who mirror to us the fatherhood of God. What a wonderful opportunity. What a wonderful way of sharing God's fatherhood. You have a very important vocation in the family. Dahil ang Diyos ay ama at kayo lang ang natatawag na ama sa loob ng tahanan. Nakikibahagi kayo sa pagiging ama ng Diyos. Kaya ang pagiging tatay sa loob ng tahanan ay napakahalaga. Isang papel na binasbasan ng Diyos sapagkat kayo lamang ang matatawag na ama sa loob ng tahanan kung paanong ang Diyos din ay nagiging ama sa ating lahat. But let us remember and be reminded, my dear fathers in the families, that you share not only in the title of being a father, but you share also in the mission and action of God as father. Hindi lamang po kayo nakikibahagi sa titulo ng Diyos na Ama, kundi ang pagiging Ama ng tahanan ay nakikibahagi din sa papel, responsibilidad, sa misyon, sa gawain ng Diyos bilang Ama. And in our readings today, I would like to focus on two important actions of God of being a father. How is God a father? 
What does he do as a father? What is his action or mission as a father? We can see in our gospel passage today, the message of Jesus, he said, Fear no one. Do not be afraid, he said, because your father cares for you. Not even a sparrow will die without the father's knowledge, and even your hairs are counted by the father. So do not be afraid, he said, because my heavenly father loves you and cares for you. Yun pala ang gawain ng isang ama. Ang alisin ang takot sa puso ng pamilya sapagkat ang ama ay siyang nagbibigay ng assurance sa pamilya nandito ako na inyong tatay. Hindi ko hahayaang may mangyaring masama sa inyo. So that is the number one mission of God as Father. We are not afraid because we know our hearts are sure that our Father cares for us. If God as Father cares for the birds, the sparrows, how much more, Jesus said, us, His children. A Father assures us. And therefore, the mission of the Father is to remove any fear from our hearts and to assure our hearts not to be afraid, I am here, your Father. That is also the story in our first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The enemies would terrorize you, he said, denounced and denounce you. But the Father, the Lord God, will not terrorize you or denounce you, but will protect you. That is the message of the prophet Jeremiah. The father does not terrorize his children, but in fact protects and assures his children, I am here. I will protect you from those who will try to harm you. Ang ama, ang isang tatay, ay hindi nananakot ng kanyang mga anak, kundi inaalis ng ama ang takot sa puso ng kanyang mga anak at sinasabing, huwag kayong matakot, nandito ako at ako ang mga ngalaga sa inyo. I hope, my dear fathers, that this is our action also as we, as you share the title Father with God, you also share in the mission of God the Father to protect the families, to remove fear from the hearts of families, and to instill in the hearts of families and assure your family, do not be afraid. I am here as your Father to protect you and guide you. Sana po ay uh, yung mga tatay sa loob ng tahanan Wag po sana kayo ang maging dahilan ng pananakot sa mga anak no madalas nangyayari yan no na o oh, nandiyan na si tatay no na parating na si tatay kapag sinabing parating na ang tatay no talaga namang nanginginig na yung mga anak no pero hindi lang yun ang papel ng isang tatay ang isang tatay katulad ng Diyos ay hindi nananakot ng anak hindi nagiging sanhi ng takot the father should not terrorize his children. But in fact, the father should remove all fears in the hearts of his children and assure them of his protection and guidance. The second action of God is recounted in our second reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. St. Paul explains to us in the second reading that our model of fatherhood, of being a good father, is not the sin of Adam, but Jesus Christ, the new Adam. He said, if sin entered the world through Adam, when Jesus Christ came, grace entered. What a beautiful imagery of St. Paul. 
In Adam, the first man, sin entered the world. But when Jesus came as the new Adam, grace entered the world. I hope, my dear fathers, this is what we will use as a model for being a father. Not the sin of Adam through whom sin entered the world, but let your model be Jesus Christ as the new Adam through whom grace entered the world. I pray that through fathers, not sin should enter the family, but through the father, grace should enter the family. Sana po hindi ang tatay ang nagiging dahilan ng pagpasok ng kasalanan sa pamilya, kundi ang tatay mismo ang dahilan ng pagpasok ng biyaya sa loob ng tahanan. Alam niyo po ay uh, natutuwa po ako sapagkat simula po ng uh, nagsimula po itong ating mga online masses dahil sa ating community quarantine ay marami po akong nakakausap kahit po through online lang na mga tatay. At nagugulat po ako sapagkat sabi nila, alam mo Father, matagal na po akong di nagsisimba. Pero nung napapanood namin yung mga online mas, sumasama na ako sa pamilya ko. Hindi ko ba mas magandang tingnan at mas lalong ma-inspire ang inyong mga anak kapag ang padre de pamilya, ang tatay ng tahanan, ay siyang magiging dahilan ng pagpasok ng biyaya sa loob ng pamilya. At sigurado ako kapag ang tatay ang na namumuno sa pagpasok ng pagdarasal, pagsisimba, ay lalong mapupuno ang tahanan ng napakaraming biyaya. So, my dear fathers, let us imitate not Adam because through him sin entered, but let us imitate Jesus through whom grace entered the family. Baka po may mga nanonood na tatay ngayon at uh, siguro po kapag nag-normalize na po lahat at nakakabalik na tayo sa ating mga tahana, sa ating mga simbahan, baka naman maisipan yung maglingkod sa simbahan. Pwede po kayong maglingkod as lay ministers of the Eucharist. No? Yung mga nagbibigay po ng komunyon. Yan po, mga tatay ng pamilya. Knights of Columbus. Yan, no? pwede kayong mag-volunteer. No? Sumali sa mga ganyan. Copos for Christ. Yan yung mga gawain sa loob ng simbahan na makasisiguro tayong ang tatay ay magiging dahilan ng pagpasok ng biyaya at hindi kasamaan sa loob ng tahanan. A father like God does not cause fear in the family but a father removes fear because he assures his family of his love. And a father is not the cause of sin, but the cause of grace through whom grace enters the family. Let me just uh, end with a story of a father also, not just a father of one family, but a father of the Archdiocese of Manila and also the whole country during his time. He is Jaime Cardinal Sin. Today is his 15th death anniversary. He died on, uh, in 2005. And uh, unfortunately, I was uh, born late though, because I was born April 1986. So, I was not uh, living yet during the EDSA revolution. And uh, uh, I do not remember uh, anymore about Cardinal Sin, about during the time when he was still strong. Hindi ko na po naabutan masyado na si Cardinal Sin ay yung malakas pa. Ang naaalala ko lang po kay Cardinal Sin ay yung medyo nagkasakit na ko siya. No? Doon po yung medyo naaalala ko na. But I cannot forget one experience 
because I entered the seminary in 2003, two years before he died. Naabutan ko pa pong buhay si Cardinal Sin noong 2003, nung ako po ay pumasok ng seminaryo, pero medyo mahina na ho siya. In 2005, there was an event in our seminary in San Carlos Seminary. There was a uh, wanted man who entered San Carlos Seminary at uh, itong wanted man na ito ay nagtago sa loob ng San Carlos Seminary. So sinara ang San Carlos Seminary at uh, ilang araw din na nakasara ang compound namin at kami ingat na ingat sapagkat napakarami na pong media sa labas at marami hong mga pulis na nagbabantay because there was this wanted man inside our compound. And uh, we were instructed not to go out of the building because they said there are snipers around the perimeter who are ready to shoot anyone walking along the compound. So we were all very afraid during that time. I was then second year in the seminary. At siguro po, hindi nyo ito alam at hindi mar marahil alam ng marami sa atin. Ito ang huling-huling sulat na ginawa ni Cardinal Sin sa kanyang buong buhay. The last letter that he wrote was a letter to us seminarians inside San Carlos Seminary. And he sent the letter to us. It was posted on our bulletin board. The letter assures us, sabi niya, Dear seminarians, I know what you are undergoing and your life may be in danger because of that uh, man hiding in the compound. But he said, I assure you that I am praying for you. I assure you that I am one with you and I care for you. At pinirmahan niya yun ng maikli lang na pirma niya pero nanginginig na kasi mahina na ko siya nun at alam mong yung pirma niya ay pinilit niya talagang pirmahan kahit hindi na siya makasulat ng mabuti. That was the last letter written by Cardinal Sin. A letter written for us seminarians telling us not to be afraid because your father, Cardinal Sin, is praying for you and one with you. What a beautiful action of a father. Siguro po kilala natin si Cardinal Sin sa matataas na mga event, no? Ed's Revolution, one and two, and many things na mga sikat pa siya. Pero marami rin sa atin ang nakaranas ng kanyang pagiging isang simpleng ama, ang kanyang pagbibigay sa atin ng kasiguraduhan na ang pagiging ama ay nariyan, kapiling natin, inaalis ang takot sa ating mga damdamin. My dear brothers and sisters, and our fathers in the families watching, what an honor to be a father of a family. You are the only ones to be called father, like God, our father. You share in his fatherhood. Please, Remove all fears in our hearts and please assure us of your presence and guidance that through you, the Father, grace from God will enter in the family. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord listens to the needy. He is always ready with help that never fails. We have only to ask, so let us seek the compassion of the one who cherishes even the smallest sparrow. For every petition, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, which dispense the abundant free gift of divine grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For nations enslaved by sinful systems of oppression and terror, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For fathers everywhere who have given us life and love, that we may show them respect and love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may continue to bless Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle as he celebrates his birthday today. May the Lord who has chosen him Give him the health of body, soundness of mind, holiness of spirit, and joy of being. As he carry out his ministry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That he may grant Jaime Cardinal Sin a share in the heavenly liturgy, for he exercised the priestly office in your church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have come into the presence of our, of our Father, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and for people who have asked for our prayers. Father of all creation, we commit our cause to you and praise you for caring for us in our need by giving us your own Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, 
a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. As we face our Lord Jesus Christ in the sacrament of His body and blood, let us lift up to Him all fathers of families, even those who may have passed away already. All of them will lift up to Jesus Christ, our Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Jaime, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his 
may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us now call on Him as our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like once again to thank everyone for joining us in this uh, meaningful celebration of the Holy Eucharist, especially the fathers who have joined our online Mass. And uh, we invite everyone at 8.30 in the evening tonight at 8.30 p.m., we will be able to have a live conversation with uh, His Eminence, Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, live from Rome. And so we invite you to uh, follow our Facebook page so that at 8.30 p.m. you will be notified when we will be live. Uh, kukumustahin po natin ang birthday boy, si Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle. And uh, also, after this Mass, 
we uh, after the blessing we invite you to join us still after the blessing wag po muna kayong aalis at uh, we will be um, praying and blessing the tomb of Cardinal Sin. He is buried here in the crypt in this chapel of the Manila Cathedral. So we invite everyone to join us in praying for him and thanking the Lord for his gift in our country and in our church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. God of life, in your wisdom and love, you made all things. Bless all fathers and grandfathers that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with the spirit of profound respect through Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep your family safe, O Lord, we pray, and grant them abundance of your mercies that they may find growth through the teachings and the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, we gather today to pray for our brother, Jaime, whose body lies here in rest. He has passed from life to death in company with the Lord Jesus, who died and rose to new life and is purified now of his faults. We pray that God may grant him a share in the heavenly liturgy and may welcome him among all the saints of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our response is pray for him. Pray Holy, for him. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for him. Saint Michael. Pray for him. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for him. Saint Joseph. Pray for him. Saint Peter and Paul. Pray for him. Saint Andrew. Pray for him. Saint Stephen. Pray for him. Saint Anne. Pray for him. Saint Teresa. Pray for him. Saint Catherine. Pray for him. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for him. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for him. All holy men and women. Pray for him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, pardon all his faults. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, remember the good he has done. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, receive him into eternal life. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, comfort all those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the soul of your departed servant, Jaime, to whom you committed the care of your family, may, with the manifold fruit of his labors, enter into the eternal gladness of his Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
there, dear Lord, on the mountain top with clouds hovering by. Are you there, dear Lord, on the distant end of the ocean, too far and wide? Answer, dear Lord, this little thing of mine. Give me the eyes to see your face divine. Oh, dear Lord, I know you are near, but I want to feel you more. Like a song lost in my memory, it seems Yeah. 